interested to see stand up. Those who support a review of the responsibilities and um, position of our CEO, Mr. David Spokes. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. In this case, we have to make a decision not on whether it's too big or too small, not on whether it's popular or reviled, not whether it's lovely or unlovely, but whether it complies. It doesn't comply! Then in what seems like an act of political suicide, Dick Gross proposes an amendment to the state's conflict of interest legislation that has everybody up in arms. His new law would stop councillors voting on an issue they've previously made a submission on. Look, I, I never even bothered to read it. Like, it's 200 pages long. It's got all sorts of details. Um, unless you're a party to the contract, it's just long, onerous and boring. She was accused of sexual harassment, having inappropriate conversations with the staff and she gave an inopportune interview to the age who distorted really what she said and ran with it and it became the white witch affair from there i've been mayor three times i've been a councillor for a dozen years i'm a political animal i like politics i'm a show-off and I like being in the center of attention. So I've got, you know, emotional problems, which I <laughs> massage by being a counselor. Um, I forgot the part of the deal was that people might actually like your decisions. 